Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today on our series, the Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week, um, we have a problem looking at the, the, uh, the sequence a of i from i equals 0 to infinity. Um, this sequence is defined by um, a naught is equal to 1 half, and then a of n is 1 plus um, all of a n minus 1, minus 1 squared. Um, and so these are going to be the, the values of a, and we're asked to find the product, um, the infinite product of ai, which is just a0 times a1 times a2 all the way to an. Um, so for this, we're going to try to define um, b of i to help us simplify um, this term here. So we can go ahead and do that. So we're going to define b of i um, by saying b of n is equal to a of n minus 1. Um, so a of n minus 1 is just going to be a of n, um, and then this 1 will cancel out. Um, so it's just going to be a of n is going to be equal to of a of n minus 1, a of n minus 1 minus 1 squared. Um, so it would be b of n, and then b of n would um, also be the same. So um, by looking at this, we can see that um, b of n is also equal to um, b of n minus 1 uh, squared, which I can show you. So we can show you this by just plugging in b of n for a of n minus 1. We can do that. So plugging, um, um, you know, a of n minus 1 into b of n, um, we can see that um, a of n minus 1 is just going to be this here, subtracted to, uh, by 1. And that's just going to leave us with a of n minus 1 uh, minus 1 squared, going to be equal to um, b of n minus 1 squared, plugging um, b of n minus 1 into our um, a new definition of b of n. It's just going to be uh, b minus 1 is going to be a to the n minus 1 minus 1 squared. So once we have that uh, new, easier, simplified version b of n, um, we could now uh, represent the infinite product of a naught, uh, a sub 1, a sub 2, that product. So uh, the new infinite product uh, can be re represented using our new sequence B. Um, so we know that uh, A naught is going to be our new B naught. <coughs> so B naught is uh, A of n minus 1. So B of n uh, plus 1 is going to be equal to A of n. Um, so for B naught or A naught, B naught is going to be a naught is going to be represented as one plus um, b naught, and then since we know that b sub n is equal to b of n minus one squared, we're going to plug in b naught again for um, b of n minus one, and then square that term to give us a one. Um, so like this with this new infinite series, um, we can we can show that it. Uh, it simplifies into a much <coughs> more manageable uh, product, which I can show you. So just plugging um, x in for b of naught, it gives us a kind of a formula or a, a, a sequence we're familiar with. Um, this product this infinite product um, can be simplified using the polynomial identity. And then, so 1 plus x times 1 plus x squared is just going to be 1 plus x plus x squared. Um, plus
plus x cubed, and then so on and so forth. So you can write that out. Um, and then we we know that this um, this sum will converge to one over one minus x, um, and so then we can just plug in. Uh, 1 over 1 minus x, and our x here is going to be um, just a, a naught. Um, so, or our x is, is b naught. Sorry about that, b naught is just going to be a then minus 1. So plugging that in, we can find out um, what this converges to. So plugging in um, our x, which is b naught, we know that um, b naught is a naught minus one. Um, so one minus, we also know a naught is one half, which was given to us. Uh, so one minus uh, a half minus one is just going to be one minus minus a half. Um, so it's one all over. Um, one and a half, which gives us two thirds. Um, so that uh, gives us this infinite product. Um, so thank you for tuning in to this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Uh, subscribe for more content and have a great day.